Welcome to THE 1000, Introduction to Theater with Bobby Bell. Writing about the art of design, part two. Having examined the material elements, now we'll examine the forms and what makes art well done in the principles of visual design. The principles of design are balance, proportion, emphasis, rhythm, and harmony. Balance is the distribution of visual weight of objects, color, texture, and space along a visual axis. It might help to think of the work of art as being on a seesaw or teeter-totter. In symmetrical balance, the elements used on one side of the design are similar to those on the other side. In asymmetrical balance, the sides are different, but still look balanced. Proportion is the feeling of unity created when all the parts, sizes, amounts, or number, relate well with each other. When drawing the human figure, proportion can refer to the size of the head compared to the rest of the body. The golden rectangle, the ideal mathematical proportion, can be seen in the proportions of the human body in da Vinci's famous Vitruvian Man. The Parthenon uses the golden rectangle in its overall form as well as individual features. Other ideal proportions can be found in the Golden Triangle and the Golden Star. Raphael's The Form Crucifixion uses both to perfectly proportion the various figures in relation to the figure of Christ. Emphasis is the part of the design that catches the viewer's attention. Usually the artist will make one area stand out by contrasting it with other areas. The area could be different in size, color, texture, and or shape. In Degas, before the ballet, the largest figure of the seated ballerina, backed by the bright blue, and her outstretched leg draws the eye first. Rhythm is how the eye is led from one part of the design to another. Going back to Degas' painting, the outstretched leg directs the eye to the group of four ballerinas. Then the eye sweeps through the negative space to the two seated ballerinas. 
Notice, too, the skillful use of triangles in creating the composition. The rhythms in Van Gogh's Starry Night are much busier. The eye will travel quickly through multiple directions and rhythms. Harmony is the feeling of unity between all parts of the work of art which creates a sense of completeness and beauty. In Angelica Kaufman's self-portrait, notice how the red of the figure of music is repeated in the sash of the figure of art. The blue of the figure of art is replicated in the flowers in music's hair, and both are represented in the belt around Angelica's waist. The figures are proportionately alike, and also triangles are used to balance the composition. In Degas' The Millinery Shop, the greens of the ribbons are matched in the greens on the curtain. Note as well that colors in the ribbons of the other hats are also echoed in colors in the floors and walls. Most striking is his clever use of repeated circles in the head of the woman and in the circle shapes of the various hats. This concludes writing about the art of design part two.